Before we can talk about slew rate limiters, we need to know what slew rate is. And maybe you've heard this term before, but what is slew rate exactly? Slew rate describes the maximum amount of change in voltage that a component is capable of within a given window of time. Visualizing this will be easiest with a square wave. A theoretical square wave having infinite bandwidth changes from one extreme to the other instantaneously, as seen when we draw it like this. But in the physical world, we would never be able to achieve perfectly accurate reproduction of this. And that is because it takes some amount of time for electronic components to swing between voltages, a lag in how quickly it's capable of responding to extreme or abrupt changes. So this theoretical square wave might look more like this when reproduced through an actual circuit with a slew rate. And typically the goal is to minimize this for accurate reproduction of signals. And in the audible spectrum, this is fairly easily achieved with modern components. But there are times where the slew rate can be harnessed to modify things. And if you've done anything extensive with modular synthesis or things of that nature, you may already have some familiarity with what a slew rate limiter is and does. A slew rate limiter gives us a lower rate of change, oftentimes variable in nature. And we would typically use this to smooth control voltage type signals. And now this may seem redundant with timing circuits in something like a dynamics processor. And when applied to the control signal in a dynamics processor, it essentially provides the same function. But there is one critical difference. A typical timing circuit uses resistors and capacitors to create something very functionally equivalent to a variable low pass filter. And this produces an exponential response. But a slew rate limiter responds linearly. And wouldn't we want the more exponential response for naturally attenuating in a way that more closely follows our perception of audio signals? And absolutely, which is why we mostly find timing circuits in these devices and not slew rate limiters. But it does offer us a different flavor to start from. But what's maybe a practical reason we might design something like this? and not just as a proof of concept or experiment. And greater flexibility in the envelope's behavior might be one idea. Because with that linear trajectory, we could then use a wave shaper to alter that into something else. The wave shaper would give us that more exponential type thing, and then we could also invert it to go the other way. And this is what the character control does on Razorgate positive values and negative values. And I hope this provides some useful information in understanding slew rate and slew rate limiters. Be sure to check out Razorgate from Psychocircuitry.